<laughs> a generation of daft people and smartphones, social networks for unsociable, Facebook for a status and Insta for a pose. Snapchat to show it live in a few seconds and then it goes. We've been bred into the culture of technology. A generation of travellers inquisitive and knowledge see. Want to see what the world has to offer before they settle down? So settle down and gather round as I tell it now, young. Yelling out. We're all independent, but independence can leave dependence on things we've mentioned. Because we're all searching for something we're missing. So we're kind of empty. Not a full tank like the planes we used to see them size and find ourselves. It's like reading 50 books. But you can't store it. You best buy a shelf. But our best buy is health. Because that's what's important, right? NHS carefree, but the treatment is worth half the price of private care. And after once or twice, you're left with a hole in your pocket. Like that hole in your tooth to pay an arm and a leg to get that filler in them teeth white. And the turkey gnashes. But veneers won't stop clear when your yummy turkey rushes. But I bet your Insta bio says vegan, as if you're seating and chippy peating every evening. But on the weekend you like a drink, so it's doner and chicken kebabs with extra meeting. But now you're an influencer, because you influence your mates and stop cheating. And your Insta bio was live coach right beneath vegan. This TikTok generation looking for instant self-gratification. 10 second attention spam. Whether watching a real double tapping or baiting. Love island hyping, Tinder swiping. Either way, I ain't waiting. But don't believe everything you see on that screen. Because social media is personal perception. People only want you to see what they want you to see. So you can see them loving all our blessings. But behind that phone there, life could be harder than erections. I cry for help instead of notification in their mentions. So notice their intentions. Behind the screen is empty tension. A whole load of anxiety, unfulfillment and depression. Searching for the answer, but the answer ain't been questioned. Think for a second, don't talk, no second guessing. Is that anyone's question? Is reminding of you someone who's in question? Ask for help or help someone who don't ask for that help. How are you ain't enough? And talking from outside perspective, how's it look? The cover of the story could be detailed, but inside's an empty book. A kitchen without a cook. Someone with a dream who has everything they need, but deep down couldn't give up. But before you leave your house in the mirror, you should look. In case that person who's most hurting and in question could be the reflection. And it's actually you who is stuck. Thank you. Make some noise for 42. Okay, so on deck is Darcy, the coming to the stage right now. Is Spencer Wood.